Hello everybody, what is going on? It's Jimmy here, back with another video. Hi guys, so I've noticed I have not made a video on Nintendo content in a couple of days, so I wanted to give that to you guys today. I wanted to talk about the August Direct rumors, everybody. We've gotten a lot of new subscribers since yesterday. I want to thank each and every one of you guys. It's very nice of you guys subscribing, commenting, all that. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you have not subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you have, don't forget to click the bell so you do not miss when I talk about your favorite video gaming content. So let's get started. Everybody, Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 is probably the thing we want to see the most everybody because if this Nintendo Direct does happen and Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 doesn't even get a release date then I feel like that's gonna be sad and I don't even care if it's 2021 like I just feel like they just need to come transparent with us and just tell us the truth when is Zelda Breath of the Wild coming out give us another trailer or show us gameplay show us something guys it's been almost two years at this point I don't want three four years to go by and we're still wondering what's happening with Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 everybody I'm very excited for the game and I know that some of you guys are too not some of you guys all you Nintendo fans that was one of the best games I feel like we've all played for me personally it was probably the best game I've ever played if I really sat there and I thought about it I could probably come up with more games that were just as good but right off the top of my head Zelda Breath of the Wild and Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be absolutely amazing next since we did lack a Pokemon game this year which is for the best reason honestly Game Freak they need to take a break I feel like Sword and Shield was rushed out and they need to take a break I'm very excited for the Bandai Namco developed Pokemon Snap, guys. I feel like we should at least get a release date, even again if it is early 2021 or late this year. Something's got to go on, guys, because Game Freak's um, DLC is not going to be enough to hold us Pokemon fans over. We do need a spinoff or something, guys. That would be a good decision to make because I feel like, you know, most people are going to want a Pokemon game this year, and a lot of people are very excited for Pokemon Snap. Next, we need a release date for Metroid Prime 4, and let's hope it does hit 2020. But again, if it has to hit 2020, one, then I guess what are we gonna do right I mean that's that's gonna be it there's nothing we can do if it does end up happening in 2021 or 2022 whatever because I know that they just recently made development updates and different things that they still need producers like the development must not be done yet guys but I'm hoping that they can get it done sometime soon Next, I'm hoping we do get a sequel to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We do get Mario Kart 9 at least announced or talked about in some capacity. Mario Kart 8 is finally falling off of the sales charts, and I think it is time for a new Mario Kart to hit the shelves, everybody. More of everything. Make this the Smash Bros. of Mario Karts. Next, I feel like we need Game Freak to announce something coming in the future, like a Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remake that we already know is going to happen, but this is an alternative to Pokemon Snap, assuming that they do not show off Pokemon Snap. I do not think that we need all all these Pokemon things in one show, I feel like it would be a good idea to show one or the other. Next, I want to move on to Virtual Console. We definitely need an update. It's been about a year since they've added a new system to the lineup, guys. And I feel like we need GameCube, Game Boy, 64, something. You know, something for people who like to play retro games on the go. Hopefully something that we haven't had portable before, like a Game Boy. I'm hoping for the GameCube or the Nintendo 64. Um, obviously, we do need some more Pikmin news, guys. Pikmin 3, you know, maybe even announce Pikmin 4. If that's in the cards, you know, maybe make this, like, Pikmin 3 Deluxe, like the Prepper. Or, you know, like before the real dinner comes out, you know? And I think that'd be a really good decision to do, though I do not see this one happening, guys. The rest of these I do see happening in some capacity. Bravely Default 2, give it a release date. It's still on par to be in 2020. I feel like that's going to be November or December. Drum roll, everybody. The Mario 3D Collection, everybody. This is going to, what you think is going to end the show, is going to be the Mario 3D Collection. It's going to be an absolute banger, a celebration of the years of Mario throughout the years, and it's just going to be absolutely amazing. And honestly, I'm very excited to hear if the Mario 3D anniversary collection is real because I feel like by this point we know that the 35th is real guys but the thing is we don't know 100% if they're gonna go all out you know it might just be a couple games it might be a whole entire thing we're gonna find out together it's not gonna be something that you know like goes over our heads because we haven't had a great year from Nintendo and I feel like if they really do pull through with the Mario 35th anniversary 3d collection or whatever they want to call it I know I've called it numerous different things Thing is, I don't really know what to call it because I don't know what they're going to call it. And I feel like at the end, we need to have a wild card, like a Mario Odyssey 2 or something announced for 2022 or 2021, something like that. Something like that. I don't imagine just Mario Odyssey 2. I'm saying like something along the lines of something that big, guys. I think it would be an amazing way to end the show. But these are my thoughts on the situation. I know everything isn't probably going to happen like this, but I feel like this is enough to make up for the lack of directs. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Nintendo Switch, Pokemon, DSXL, 3DS, PS5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Game Pass, and much more on JNC Gaming. Thank you guys again, because you guys have really been supporting me lately, and I really have been feeling the support. Jimmy's out of here.
Thank you for your continued support.